Shalom, shalom, and welcome. I hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to share with you a word that the Lord placed in my heart. Um, and this was just yesterday. It kind of came to me when I was um, driving around, uh, just observing nature. You know how nature was mixed in with the uh, the buildings around. Um, and I noticed this contrast, you know, where, well, with the buildings, they deteriorated over time. But then there are the trees that can go on for years and years and look as fresh as ever. And so the Lord dropped this in my spirit that life is constantly renewing itself, right? And so for things to, to continue to live, to continue to thrive, it, there has to be a constant renewal, right? Um, we cannot hold on to old dead things and expect for our lives to flourish, all right? And so... The Lord was also speaking to me in terms of the change of seasons. So um, with trees, they, in cold climates at least, they shed their leaves in the fall. And this is really in an attempt to preserve their lives, right? If they don't shed their leaves, if they don't let go of those old things, then they wouldn't make it through the winter most likely. Um, and so they do that out of necessity. It's what they have to do in order to keep on going. And then when the spring comes, then they grow new leaves, fresh leaves. And the cycle goes on and on, right? So the Lord just really placed this in my spirit that life is constantly renewing itself. And if we attempt to hold on to old, dead things, then we are not living. We are, our life is being drained from us. So, um, I also got this scripture to go along with this. It's First John uh, 1 verses 8 to 9. It says, if we, have, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, in order for us to know what we need to let go of, we must first acknowledge what the old dead things are in our lives, right? What we might be trying to hold on to, but um, what we should not be holding on to if we want to continue to. So it is necessary for us to examine ourselves, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal things to us, the things that are not serving us any longer, the things that are not serving us at all in our lives, the sins that we might be trying to hold on to, but they're really just draining us, right? It's important for us to examine ourselves and identify those areas of ourselves, those parts of our lives that might be draining us, those things we might be trying to hold on to, but they aren't serving us, they're not serving um, to bring life to us, they're, they're drawing life away from us, all right, and we need to be very aware and alert at all times and willing to let go of those things you know as soon as holy spirit reveals them to us it should just be like okay thank you holy spirit i choose to release this right and in that way we can flow with life that is constantly renewing itself something that might have been good for us yesterday might not be good for us today how many of us know when we make some food (laughs) It's good the day that we make it, but if we leave it out or if we leave it in the fridge, you know, like a few days after a while, it's it's not good for us anymore because it starts to deteriorate. So what's good for us one day might not be good for us the next day or a few days later, a few months later. Okay, so it's just important to constantly uh, evaluate the things that are in our lives and to search out any place that we might be um, flowing 
are not flowing in alignment with God. Okay, any way that we might be holding on to something that was good for us in the past, but uh, is not good for us in our current season. Okay, so if we try holding on to all dead things, past ways, unrighteous thinking and behaviors, then the truth, which is also life, as Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. That truth is not with you. That life is not with you. But if we confess our sins and let go of those old ways, then we are cleansed of unrighteousness and can walk in the life of Christ. So, um, the Lord also gave me Deuteronomy 6.13. It says, You must fear the Lord your God and serve Him. Okay, so this is very key here, is seeking to serve the Lord, to follow Him, to do His will. And, uh, you know, His will takes us from one place to the next. And in one, in the previous place, we might have had things, we might have needed things, certain things around us. And we might be tempted to take those things into the next place he has for us. But those things would not survive in that next place. They would not allow us to thrive in that next place. Okay, so what comes to mind is, for example, a cactus. We might have been in a desert season and that cactus served us in our desert season, right? Um, it gave us uh, some sort of sustenance and... Um, even, you know, like, um, helped us to stay hydrated, you know, like, because the cacti hold on to water. Um, but if we try to take that into our rainforest season, right, when the, the rains of God's blessings are falling down on us, that cactus, I mean, it really doesn't serve us and, um, it's not going to thrive in that place anyways. And then... I mean, a cactus, you know, has its spines and thorns, <laughs> however you want to call them. And those might actually hurt us. You know, they might, in attempting to hold on to that cactus, we might get hurt. So, praise God for that revelation. Um, and I definitely hope that you take it to the Lord in prayer to, you know, help um, assess what it is you might need to let go of in this season um and i just want to share this experience i had because the lord is so good um you know as we move from one season to the next of course there are going to be things that we need to let go of and with that comes a sense of grief um and i don't think grief is something to run away from because we need to process um, you know, whatever we are letting go of, <clears throat> it's necessary to allow ourselves to release those emotions, um, you know, rather than holding on. And so, as the Lord is preparing me to move from one season to the next, He led me to actually grieve the place where I am right now before all the change starts to happen it was just really um an amazing experience and i realized that the lord was preparing me so that when uh, that that sweeping change comes i don't have to be caught up in the grief i don't have to be focused on the fact that i am losing something leaving something behind instead when that moment comes i can focus on um, the fact that this is not just an end but it is a new beginning and that is the key because that is what i am stepping into all right and um i feel like you know that's something that you can also take to the lord and ask him to help you grieve those things that you might be about to leave behind 
so that when the change comes, when the blessings come, you will be more ready to embrace them, okay? Praise God. So, <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to kind of touch on here, because the Lord gave this to me in um, contemplating all this, and so what was dropped in my spirit is three months of beautification right now i say beautification that's exactly how it came to me but we can also look at this as renewal rejuvenation right so three months of beautification and i felt the lord wanting to take us on this journey of beautification and um, the only thing that he really requires of us is surrendering to that you know saying lord i am willing to go on this journey with you um and of course he <laughs> he took me to the story of queen esther where she had her, pre her period of preparation of beautification right but the lord specific specifically gave me three months and I felt the spirit of the Lord saying that in three months, you will look like a new person. So just receive that and surrender to that journey. Um, and also, um, the Lord was highlighting that this is not just on a physical level. Although I did sense that that would be a big part of it. Um, but this would also be taking place on a mind, heart and soul level also. Um, the thing is that a lot of us have been in uh, pruning and preparation seasons and the focus of those seasons was refining our heart posture, our mindsets, um, just soul renewal. And so, you know, I feel the spirit of the Lord saying that a lot of that work is done already and that was the foundation for this three months of beautification because that beauty has to come from within first it has to start within right because things come from the spirit level and then manifest in the physical and so while there will be some extra refining on the mind heart and soul level this is more specifically actually on a physical level where uh that spiritual refining that spiritual upgrade that you have received will start to really shine forth for others to perceive it um, even on a physical level okay so praise god for that and um yeah i just feel to encourage you again to simply surrender to that journey um and i just want to read off these last few um you know words that the lord spoke through me and uh, he says because you have humbled yourself i will make you great because you have laid down your life i will give you new life more abundant life because you have let go of what you had in the world i will give you heavenly treasures beyond your imagination beyond what you can ask think or imagine praise god and uh, holy spirit spoke to me through uh, um this experience it was very simple but very profound and i just want to share that with you before we end so i woke up a few mornings ago a few mornings ago just at dawn and I looked out and saw a cloud that was reflecting the sun rays as it came up. You know that pink color that we see at sunrise and sunset. And I'm used to seeing sunsets. So I saw it and I immediately thought, oh, it looks like sunset. But the spirit said, and I feel the spirit so strong. The spirit said, but it's not sunset. It's sunrise. And... Uh, so to me to you to us it may seem like the end but the spirit of the lord is encouraging us to switch your mindset about it focus on the fact that it is really the beginning of a beautiful new day that the lord has made and let us rejoice 
and be glad in it. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that word. So I'll just say a quick prayer for you. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Thank you, Father, for being such a loving Father, a powerful, magnificent Father to us. We ask you, Father, that you come in and touch us even more deeply in this hour with your love, your goodness, your mercy, your kindness, your grace, Father. Thank you, Father, for all these things that sustain us, that give us life more abundantly, Father. We ask for your grace to let go of the things that no longer serve us, Father, to leave those behind so that we can step into the new that you have for us, Father. Help us to embrace the new, Father. Help us to grieve even now the things that we are about to let go of, Father, so that when your blessings come, we can open our, our hearts and our hands to receive them even more enthusiastically, Father. We thank you for it, Father. Help us to trust that you are always with us, working out things for our good, Father. We thank you for this, Lord. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen and amen. All right, guys. So I pray that this word blessed you. Um, I, I hope that you will take it to the Lord in prayer to ask for specific instructions um, and to assess exactly how it might apply to you. Um, but God is good, y'all. And I'm so grateful that I was able to get this word out to you. Um, so I pray you receive it. And until next time, Shalom and take care.